Good morning, everybody. It is a happy Wednesday at 10 a.m. My name is Eileen Winton and I own Jane Nicole Designs and that's who you're watching this morning. I hope you guys ha are having a great morning. Um, same here. Oh, good morning, Joy. I know I almost missed it um, being there right at 10 o'clock because it was one of those I was like, oh, I have a few more things that I needed to do before I got ready for the live. So anyway, if you um, are watching live, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up, say hi, and let me know where you're watching from, how's things going on on a Wednesday morning. And um, if you don't see that little red button that says live, that means you're watching on a replay. Hi, good morning, Joy. Um, and so go ahead and put hashtag replay and that lets me know um, when you're going to be watching. So it um, gives me an idea of who and when and all that kind of fun stuff. So, um, wow, it has been a whirlwind of a weekend. Um, some of you know it last week was my birthday and I am a twin and I got to celebrate my birthday with my twin, Christine, and um, it was so nice. We went over to the west side of Washington and um, went out to dinner and uh, we actually went to a rock and gem show and um, got to look around and it was funny because we were reminiscing when we were younger, we would go to the end of our driveway and we'd pick up tons and tons of rocks in the gravel wash them off, sometimes lick them, you know, whatever, and be able to um, look at all the fun rocks. So it was kind of a, a interesting and fun weekend with that. And then um, we celebrated a birthday with a friend and um, got to go to their house and spend the night. It was super fun. So we were up on Saturday um, evening until, well, it was actually 1230 by the time we went to bed and we woke up Sunday and we're like, wow, we are getting old. It was super hard to get up. And so we hopped in the car and headed over to Idaho and kind of just reminisced um, on the way home of how fun it was. Um, so if I didn't get to see you, I got to see a few people on the West side, but if I didn't get to see you next time. Let me know. <laughs> but Okay, so that was my fun birthday weekend and thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. It was super, super enjoyable to be able to um, celebrate with my sister, like I said, and then um, come on to the the, the east side in, in Idaho. And I haven't met you guys yet, but um, the west side is super green and the grass is wonderful. And I'm looking outside right now, that's kind of when I look away. Um, our grass is not as green, so we are about six, I would say probably six weeks behind, uh, four weeks behind the, the west side of Washington. So um, we were looking at tulips and things like that that were, um, you know, up in, in uh, from the ground and things like that. And right now um, we have daffodils that are just starting to bloom. Um, but not as as um, pretty and as vibrant as the west side. So it's coming. Um, yesterday we had a really beautiful day and I think today was one of those where it's a little bit cloudy and things like that. And um, for a good reason, today I'm wearing my, I've got to do adulting and clean my house after this. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, I'll put a little sparkle on, um, dress for the occasion, uh, be a little comfortable today, but that that's what's going on. So as we are getting started, today I'm going to be doing a little, good morning, Amy. Um, today I'm doing a little bit different project. Um, it's actually for myself. We are going to be redecorating our master bedroom. And right now it's kind of that farmhouse-y, um, I would say gray and white. And um, there's, you know, check and things like that in there. And my husband was like, you know what? We need to bring a little bit more color into our room. So I told him, okay, that would be awesome. So one of my favorite, oh, good morning, Ron. I'm so glad you guys are watching. Um, my favorite color is red and blue when I decorate. So I am going to do kind of an um, um, early American um, kind of patriotic theme. I have um, some check just like this um, that I'm gonna be using for curtains, but I have a couple places in my room where they're catch-alls and I want the catch-alls like my chapstick, you know, that kind of thing. Um, uh, I want it to be pretty. So I thought I was I was over there on the west side and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna look for a couple things that I can bring across. Good morning, Renee. Um, 
I was going to bring a couple things across that I just put in, in Idaho from, from uh, remembering the weekend. So my sister and I, we did a little bit of thrifting. Um, like I told you before, our thrifting is a little lacking. Um, but I was in the area, you know, of, um, Bellingham area. So I went and we did a little bit of thrifting. So I found a couple pieces that I'm going to use for my bedroom and I show you, this is the first one. This is just, um, I, I am not sure it looks like it is silver or at least plated silver. Um, but it is super just dinged up. I know people are like, oh no, you're going to paint it. Um, but I am going to paint it. But I just wanted something that would sit on my dresser and that I could put um, earrings in and different things like that. Good morning, Jeff. It's good to see you watching. Um, so I'm going to do this one here. And then this one I got at another thrift store. And this one here is um, going to be for, I have some um, hair pieces and things like that. I thought, you know what, I need to put this on my dresser and uh, be able to... Um, do another catch-all. I might even put plants in it. I I'm not sure yet, but I wanted to show you the quick process and how I do this. Um, I got this for like $2 and same with this one, $2. And that's the fun part about going thrifting and revamping. Um, I don't feel too bad if, if I'm, you know, taking a, I'm sorry if it's somebody's relic or whatever, <laughs> um, family heirloom, but, um, I just wanted a little bit of my my own touch to it. So today I have a couple things we're gonna be using and sorry about being backwards, but it's a crafter's nightmare to flip. But this is chalk paint, it's by Folk Art and this is, I believe it is nautical. So I'm gonna do um, navy and kind of like a crimson color and black and white in my room. So I'm gonna use that today. And then this here, this is a gold, this is same, um, this is folk art as well. And this is kind of taking place of, you know, the um, the liquid gold that I've been using. And I kid you not, it is so hard to get open. This is a plastic um, container, much more easier. It doesn't smell as, as um, pungent. And I got this at Walmart. Both of these um, products I did get at Walmart. So easily available. You can order them online. And then the the other paint product I'm going to use, this is Rub and Buff, and this is gold. I may use this on um, this one here. There's a little bit of ribs and things like that. I might be putting that on there. Um, but Rub and Buff is a great um, little added extra bling to different things. So, um, and then I got to tell you it all first. Then we are going to top it off. This is Waverly and this is wax. And when you use chalk paint, you wanna be able to seal the chalk paint so that it doesn't scratch, or at least if you um, scrape on it or anything like that, I'm gonna be putting stuff in here that that wax is that um, barrier so that the paint doesn't chip or you know you could have it chip and um, you wanna make sure that, that at least there's a coating. You could also do a coating of clear but um, I'm gonna use that. And if, if it chips off a little bit, it'll give it kind of more of a little rustic-y kind of thing. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is, I well, I did, is I cleaned them off with water and soap, and then I dried them and made sure that they were completely dry. So I did that before we were done so that you didn't have to watch, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this brush. This is a really fine, fine brush. Um, I usually use something that's a little bit more coarse and that's when I want texture, but I want it to be less texture. This is another one that's even fluffier on the top. Um, I want something that's less texture. So we'll see how this goes. Um, how I do this, this is a plate that I got 99 cents at a thrift store and I'm just going to shake this up and put it in my, um, my little uh, tray and um, I'm actually going to scoot this over so you can see what I'm up to. It's kind of fun to make sure that um, y'all can see what I'm doing here. See how it is. Uh, I'm going to do a lot because I've got two projects today. But um, right now, if you can see it, there's uh, it's this is a, a water based, but I need even though I shook it up, I need to uh, mix it up in my in my paint tray here. And it is kind of like gel. It's it's actually pretty um, 
forgiving in, in that regard. So when I go into these little crevices and things like that, um, it will actually go into the, the little parts and pieces. So how I'm going to do this, this is one of those where I'm going to actually, I'm not going to paint the foot, um, the, the feet right now. I'm actually going to use the gold. And I just want to go right up to the top right up to each of the little pedestals and see how it goes on. It's really forgiving. It coats really well. I started on the, the bottom side first. And you know me, I'm one of those. When I start a project, I always start from the foundation up. And that just kind of helps re me remember each step that I'm doing. So, um, if you want some of the, the uh, metal just show through, you're welcome to do that. It's up to you what you want to do. This is going to be, let me get um, a little bit of, I did get a little bit on there and it won't matter. Um, with the gold paint, it will cover it up, but, um, I want to make sure that it doesn't get too thick so when it dries this actually this paint says that you're supposed to um, wait two hours in between coats so um, I think right now I'm gonna just do one coat let me get my specs on to make sure I get into the details but like I said this is one of those that you can um, you can do two coats and make it opaque and you can't see through or you can go ahead and and um, like I am I'm just right now I think I'm just gonna put one on there and um, it does dry pretty good as far as you don't want to keep going over the same area because sometimes it does go down to the, the um, silver and you wanna make sure that you don't have divots or anything like that in your paint. So let me know if you've done this before. Um, I This is kind of one of the trends that I love to do is just to revamp something old like this. Um, I did trays and things like that. If you go on my YouTube channel, Jane Nicole Designs, I have a couple tutorials about the different things that I've um, painted in trays and things like that, and that's fun. Okay, we're gonna get one of these on here. And um, the other thing too is that you don't have to use the, that folk art um, brand. There's also Waverly that has chalk paint and uh, Waverly does a good job on metal. So it's up to you. It all depends to where um, things are available in your area. For me, I do not have a Hobby Lobby except it's 20, almost a half an hour away. So I, I kind of just got to do with what I have. So and it's funny, some people are like, you buy a lot at Walmart. And I'm like, yes, because our Walmart is a little bit, it's a, it's like a super Walmart. Um, so it has a lot of, of extra items and things like that, that I don't think that normal craft, um, you know, crafting parts of Walmart is, is around. So they have grocery and all that extra stuff, um, the salons and tax tax stuff and whatever so all right the top is going to go pretty quick and i'm making sure that i only go back and forth one way um if you want to you could do i i you might you could do some swirlies or or whatever you'd like but for today i'm gonna just go back and forth one way So, and then I'm going to let this dry. We'll do the, we'll paint the other one. And then I will show you, I have a few things, a few ideas 
and what I want to do for um, embellishing. And it's one of those where you got to get the base done first, and then um, then we'll go for the embellishments. And it all depends on the dry time today how that will how that will go. But like I said, let me know if you've done this before. If there's anything that you have decided it's it needs or um, you're thinking about it right now. Is there something that that you would love to just revamp? And um, like I said, chalk paint is one of the best ways to be able to do that. Okay. So I made sure that I got in all the little crevices, went back over, I'm going one way. I'll pick it up for you. So there we go. And this will, um, the paint will flatten out a little bit. So, and I'm okay if I see some of the brush strokes, it's okay. All right, so we're gonna set this one off to the side and I'm gonna go, this is the cool part. So I can be a little bit more um, generous with my, um, with my brushes. So I'm gonna get a little bit bigger brush. And this one here, I'm gonna start, I wanna actually, I, I do wanna do both sides. And so this one here has these little little um, pedestals and I'm just gonna go for it. We'll see how this one goes. Let's load up our brush a little bit more. I know today I was being daring. I was gonna go and get a apron and then I thought, no, we're gonna, we'll see how this goes. But, um, and it is doing a really good job of going in the little crevices here. Go ahead and just make sure that um, you don't want it too heavy so that it takes so long to dry. But um, like I said, this is gonna have a little bit of a, a, a finish on it. And then when we put the chalk on it, that's where it's really going to look like it's sealed. And it has that, that um, or sorry, the wax um, almost has like a little clear sheen to it. So you'll be able to, um, like you said, I, I could even see this doing, like if you wanted to do a, um, a uh, key or, you know, if you had the decorative um, spheres or, or the balls that you wanna put in here. I mean, I could see this really cute colors for the springtime. So I challenge you to go and find a piece, go to the thrift stores, the Goodwill, wherever you have a, a way to be able to get second hand. I feel better if it's second hand. <laughs> but I have a teapot that I would love to do. I got it for my wedding. We, um, I, I don't use it. Um, and I'm, I'm seriously considering, oh, should I, should I, um, paint it and do, you know, like the napkin technique and put little, um, flowers and different things on it and decorating it that way. But we will see, I might, I might try and find it and just another tea set so that it stays. But like I said, it's been 28 years, um, actually on next, um, next weekend is our anniversary. So 28 years later, I'm like, hmm, I might want to do that. So, hey, Lana, it's good to see that you're watching. It's so fun, you guys, to be able to, um, especially family and friends that I know, it's so fun to be able to, to hang out with you guys and, and uh, do my dream job. This is my dream job, just to hang out and craft and then be able to share. Um, and please ask questions, you guys. If, you, if there's something that I'm doing here today that you're like, give me some advice, um, I will do my best to um, answer for you. And like I said, it's one of those. The crafting journey is wherever, whatever, wherever you'd like to go. So almost done here. I'm just taking my um, brush and going from the inside out. And like I said, you can decide what you want to do. Um, it would be really fun to, if you wanted to take take your time and do swirlies or anything like that. 
I think it would be really pretty to, to put different colors in this. And then it would be really fun if you did like either napkins of florals or what if you did um, cow print or something like that and um, and be able to uh, make it your own style. Um, Amy's asking, this is, is home decor folk art and this color is nautical. So the, hold on here, there we go. Um, the nautical is this color right here and it is, it is matte and this is acrylic paint. So you are gonna need to, like I said, it takes about two hours to dry in between. Um, but I'm gonna speed up the process. I'll show you how to do that. Um, and like I said, we're gonna just kind of play around with the fact that I might not be able to put the wax on it today, but um, we'll see how that goes. And I do recommend if you are gonna be painting and doing supplies like this or projects, um, I love, this is a trivet I got from, um, I think I got it from Big Lots at, um, I think it was like $7 or something like that. And it is so nice to be able to um, move your projects around and things like that. So um, I recommend go get that. And the other thing, lots of paper towels when you're doing this job. Um, perfect. And I'm one of those, I always like, I got splatters, so I'm gonna clean it up as I go. But we're gonna hold on to this one, and I'm gonna move this out of the way. There we go. And one of my favorite tips, hacks, and whatever, let me go get it here, is a hair dryer. And I got this hair dryer at a thrift store for like $3.99. And I know, I know it gets loud, but um, this is going to help you speed up your projects when you're, you're um, not that you're when you're in a hurry, but you just want to be able to cure this to make sure that um, that it, it will, um, you'll be able to use and, and do different things with it. So excuse the noise, but... I just wanted to show you so there's a little bit of the the paint that is wet still and so I just want to be careful about that but when you look at it do you see where it has the chalk it's a little bit um, opaque and, and whatnot it's got that chalk look on it so we're just gonna keep going I just for time's sake I just want to make sure that um, at least around the pieces that I'm gonna be doing my um, my gold I'm, I want that to be pretty well dry but I'm just gonna keep in mind that this is this project is wet so we want to make sure that um, like I said we don't uh, smudge it or things like that so just keep that in mind and uh, look I see right here there's a little spot there we go um, that was silver and you're welcome to go back several times like I said I only have one coat on here but you know you could do two two coats and make it really you know thick and whatnot, but like I said, for me, I want this a little bit, I might even take, I know now that I'm thinking, I might even take um, a sanding block and I might even just rough it up a little bit. So um, when that completely dries, that's what I'll do in that process. So the, this is the treasured gold. This is from Folk Art and make sure that, I know it's, it's a little sparkly so you can't see it totally, but um, I will list in the um, description uh, my products that I used and and where I got them. So this here is um, It's almost like liquid gold or liquid leaf and like I said, I have tried the liquid leaf and um, 
not that I don't like it, there's a few things that I like this color a little bit better. It's not that, um, uh, this is more of a yellow gold instead of an orangey or bronzy. And what I like about this one, it doesn't smell as, as um, terrible as the other one. Um, the, the gold leaf, the other gold leaf is very, um, uh, very like spray paint smell. And I'm, I was like, ooh, there, every once in a while I'm like, nah. So I tried this one and I think that this one is a really good alternative. So um, I'm just going to be careful not to hit the wet paint or um, or go into the dry blue because I want to make sure that this dries for a couple hours and I'm not going to go on the um, the edge where it sits on the counter because I don't want my counter if there for any reason it gets scuffed or if I put it on wood that it's going to um, scuff on my my furniture so I want to make sure that that kind of stays um, stays away from the paint that I'm, I'm doing right now and then the pedestal part so I'm just going to finish this part up here and I will show you this is the cool part see how it sparkles and it is one of those where you can start making all those projects that are just tattered and boring. You can put a little bit of bling and pizzazz in them. However you would like. So like I said, I got this um, at Walmart. I think it was like um, the, the gold was like, I want to say it was like $4 or something like that. But just for a $2 tray and a couple dollars of paint, I think the, my paint is almost like $3 or something like that. Um, and if you want to, you can go back and um, you can uh, put more than one coat on if you would like. But I, I, I like it almost there's a little bit of the chrome throw showing through and you don't have to be super precise that's what I love about this these kind of projects where if you are I have really shaking hands so it's one of those where if I have to paint a straight line goodness I need a stencil if I'm gonna do that so I just kind of um, do a little bit of, of Kind of the shaky line kind of thing i'm i'm one of those okay so there we go one more left and then i am going to do the handles because i think the handles will be beautiful what do you guys think should i do them should i do them gold or should i do them blue i'm not sure let me let me think about finishing this and then we'll see because i still do have some paint um some of the blue paint so if you guys think i should keep going with the gold or if I should do the blue. Let me know. Okay, and I would do this in a ventilated area. Open up your window or outside just to make sure that you don't sniff in too much. But like I said, I love this, this folk art stuff because it is, it's not so, um, Oh, let's see. Gold. Okay, Renee, I'm going to do gold. <laughs> I'll see how this goes. Okay, so, and the cool thing about this is the gold paint, it's just going to go in all these little crevices. And I'll show you after, in just a second. I mean, you, you can go around the sides. This is going to be one coat, and I think I'm, I might... Let this dry for a few minutes and then, well, no, it's covering actually really well. So like I said, try it, see what you can do. Um, do make sure that it's not, you don't wanna be so generous that it's super globby either. So just go ahead and um, just go ahead and, and um, do a couple layers if you need to. Okay, so 
I think that looks way better than it's gold. I like the gold. Yep. Turn this around and I'm not going to do the underneath because when you look at it, you don't really see the underneath. Um, I think that it looks, it looks fine. Uh, if I, I just went around the top of it and then the sides and see, I got a little piece there. There we go. And like I said, you can go back with your, um, your blue paint if you want to and um, touch up if you need to but it looks like this is really this uh, gold paint is really covering nicely so like I said I don't know if I need to go back and do a couple layers but have you guys used this stuff let me know it's one of those I'd love to find out you know is there something that that works better for you um, do you do use the the gold leaf? Um, I have tried twice on my lives to use gold the gold leaf and every time I can't get it open <laughs> so um, I end up having to either do a pliers or something like that and it's so funny how it it, it just never has opened up so I'm like forget it I'm gonna go find a, a different way how to do this. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to just, because this is all painted in every which way, clean up as I go here. Um, I, I'm i just gonna scoop this piece of, um, so I go to, to um, the Dollar Tree and I get placemats for 99 cents and um, I use these all the time. I have like four or five in my little stash of, of um, things that I use and um, it's so much easier to, to clean up things that way than to, um, you know, have like either paper or whatever it is. Um, so I usually go to the Dollar, dollar Tree and, and stock up on, you know, four or five of them. And then I, um, then when they're all, you know, every once in a while, because when I use my hair dryer, it ripples and different things like that. So I just um, go ahead and get a couple of them at a time, like five or six. So, okay, we're gonna do the same thing with the hair dryer. I'm gonna turn it, I was gonna let you know, I do turn my hair dryer up on um, high because I want it to heat up and to dry at the same time. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Okay, thanks for waiting. <laughs> I know how that goes. But the other thing too is I also have um, one of these as well. This is a embossing tool and I use it for um, card making and things like that. This right here gets pretty warm. You can see I've actually kind of torched it a little bit. Um, but this can also work. It, it does a really good job of heating it up pretty hot. So if you wanna do that, you can also do it well. So um, it's not as loud, but the hair dryer for some reason is just kind of my choice of, of being able to um, 
make things go as, as quicker in, in that regard. So um, I'm gonna wait just a couple more seconds with this, uh, but I wanted to show you what I was gonna do after um, this is gonna be completely dry. And um, the, the pedestals here, they're silver. And I'm actually gonna take um, rope and I'm gonna put the rope around the little knobs on the bottom. So um, I won't be doing that today, but I just wanted you to, you know, get a couple ideas of what's going on. Uh, good morning, Ron. It's so good to see you watching. Um, I just wanted to show you a couple different ways of, of, you know, you could paint them, you could put the rope on there. Um, you know, I think it would even be cute if you had like a pink, almost like a floral kind of thing and you put flowers on the pedestal or glued them underneath so that they're, you know, it came up on the sides. It, you know, the sky is the limit on this one. This one's more of kind of, um, you know, if you wanted to use it as a trinket holder or anything like that. Um, I hope you can find this one it, or at least something like it because it is really, really a pretty piece that to be able to display. So, okay. So it, it is not completely dry. You can see a little bit right here. There's the the um, the wet paint, but I'm not going to be touching that area right now. So I'm I'm going to move forward and just be really careful um, where I'm where I'm touching. So I when I use um, I'm going to be using the rub and buff, and this this does kind of smell a little bit. It is paint. Um, and this one here, let me see, it is a wax metal finish. So I um, use, this is gold leaf. You can get, I do also have in here, um, I've used uh, ebony, this is black, and I've used that quite a bit on like um, pink every once in a while. If I don't wanna use the gold and make it antique-ish. Uh, white, I use it all the time on white. So it has that farmhouse look where, um, you know how they have, uh, signs and things like that where they have just a little piece of paint going on good morning Sharon it's good to see you watching um so make sure that when you when you get this I got the, this one at Michael's and um hardware stores different things like that Joann's you can get it um but just make sure that that you know whatever color you want um try it out first because when I tried the black, it, it almost was like shoe polish and I had to get a little bit of the technique to go on because I wanted it to, you know, go and then smear a little bit. So when you're um, using this product, go ahead and do like a little practice piece or, um, you know, just so that uh, you can paint over it if you have mess ups and things like that. But I just recommend when you're using rub and buff, just make sure that you know what you're going to be, um, you know, what type of material you're going to be using. And then once you put it on there, um, you'll be able to just be a little bit more confident. I always, I use, this is my glove that I do gold rubbed and buff with because it is, um, it is paint and, um, I always get it stuck underneath my fingernail and things like that. And I have just cut one of the finger um, things off and you know, it, it's just best to, if you have any gloves and things like that, it's just best to use that. Then the other thing that I uh, recommend when you're using this is that you have a, a piece of paper towel or a napkin. Um, you can use baby wipes. I use a lot of baby wipes in my thing, to, but today my baby wipes are off my desk. And I wanna say that, um, a, Somebody in my family decided to clean, which is totally fine, <laughs> but I don't have my baby wipes on my desk today. So anyway, okay. So this is just screw on top and I squish this down and make sure that it's kind of taut and then go ahead and just put it on your finger just like that. And then I'm gonna wipe it off on the side just to make sure I get the consistency that I want. And then how this works is, you're just gonna take your, your finger and you're gonna drag it along each of the spots where you want the rub and buff to go and that it's raised. You see that? It just is gonna pick up on these little pieces that are raised and that's what I want. And it just kind of gives it that next layer so that when you display it, it gives a little bit of sparkle and shine. So like I said, the best is just, less is best when you start out. And then you can go along. You could use um, a brush if you wanted to. 
Um, I could see if you even wanted to um, make a uh, put it in a toothbrush and you could splatter uh, the paint on if you wanted to. I think that would be really pretty. It just all depends on what you would like to do. But I'm just going to use little tiny, very gentle strokes. And then that's that's how I'm going to finish this one off. Because I think this one here, I don't know if I really want to put anything other than, than that on it. So, like I said, let me know. If, have you used Rub and Buff before? And what have you used it on? I think it's super fun to find out what the what the projects are. I like I said I've used it on trays and things like that. Um, my family know I I did some stuff like that for Christmas, and um, it was super fun to be able to do that. Okay, and if I wanted to, I could go in the little crevices and things like that, just taking each little piece and making it your own. You could go really wild or you could just like right today, I'm just doing just the ends, just so that it has a little bit. And then I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna take around just the edge. I'm just gonna drag, drag my finger around the edge so that it when you come up to this bowl, you'll be able to see that there's just a little sparkle going on. Let's make sure that, and this is paste, so you're gonna have to um, just wait a few minutes for it to dry. But I think it adds a really fun touch to your projects. And if you want Victorian, this is a really good um, la layer to you if you want old English or, you know, something that's, that is um, vintage and you just want that little extra. I, everything that I have, I like just a little bit of sparkle. And that's just me, whether it's um, decor or makeup or, what I wear, that kind of thing, where there's just a little bit of sparkle that needs to happen. Okay, so just make sure that when you put this on that it is clean around the top. I always wipe things off, make sure that you can open it up again later on instead of having that glue stick or the um, paint stick to the top. Okay, so, and that's, and I, um, I put this I actually store it um, sitting up so that um, when you open it, it doesn't explode. It is paste, but like I said, I just make sure I have a little box here that I just keep all my rub and buff in. and I just make sure that it's um, standing up. So, okay, so we've got our, our rub and buff. We have our gold leaf. I think these are beautiful. I, I love the fact that, um, you know, there's a little bit of, of uh, silver throwing, showing through, so I'm okay with that. And so um, I'm gonna actually let this one dry for a while. Um, I will show you pictures later of, of how I, um, I waxed it. But this one here, I'm gonna show you around the sides how, how I'm gonna wax this. And I just wanna make sure there's some parts and pieces that uh, do have, um, there we go, I have to touch that up because I just touched it there, there we go, that are dry and I just wanna show you how um, you use the wax. And this is wax from Waverly and I got it at Walmart. Um, I think this is like seven or eight dollars. So, um, but it goes a long, 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 long way. So I've been using it for the last probably six months and haven't even put a very big of a dent in it. I think it's like, like down to there. So, um, but I do all of my chalk products and projects with it. So um, this is what it looks like. It almost looks like, I don't know, like bee pollen kind of thing. It's it's, um, it does move back and forth. So if you want to, you can take a paintbrush um, and um, take it out of the, the jar. I use, this is um, just a makeup uh, little um, cotton pad. You can use um, 
uh, paper towels, anything like that. Um, I've even seen where you can take uh, um, like gift wrap, anything like that that you have on hand. So I'm gonna actually today, I'm gonna use just a little paintbrush because I wanna dip in there and just, just get a little bit on my brush. And like I said, it almost looks like like um, paste or something like that. Like I said, it is it is wax. And this is all you do. And what it does, see if I can show you. You can't really tell, but it makes just a little like a, a sheen on it so that you don't have to worry about when you touch it and buff or you scuff it, it just is that barrier to set that chalk paint. Um, when you slide it on there, it, it does drag a little bit. So um, like I said, it's the wax that's going on your project. And, um, and then what it does is you just let it set and cure and then um, be able to uh, let it dry. And then um, I usually take my projects about once every six months if um, I see that it, there's use and things like that and I want to make sure that that chalk uh, paint stays on my project. Um, I have done it for um, things like candlesticks that I've had that I want to make sure um, I have tin trays and things like that that I've used the, the wax for. And that just, like I said, it just gives it that extra little um, protection so that when you are using it, um, it doesn't scuff. But the other thing you could use too is the um, just using clear like Krylon or any type of clear coating spray. Um, I, that would be a great idea if you're going to be washing it. Now I would not recommend using um, this for food because it is not this is this is not food grade paint. Um, so I did turn in my kitchen things into you know non non eating surfaces, but. Um, this is just another way how to be able to bring a little bit of, of your own spin into your home to be able to, um, I can see these as, you know, pink and spring and Easter and summer. You could, you know, red, white, and blue, that kind of thing. Um, and just be able to put a little bit of fun in your, um, in your decor. So, um, I, I, that's it today. It's one of those. I usually spend an hour, but like I said, I've got to go and do the adulting thing and clean my house. And, um, I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing in, in my room makeover. We will be doing a few more projects, uh, as the, as the weeks go along. And then I will show you my finished, um, products that I, or projects that I'm going to do in, in my room. So keep watching. You'll see some early American kind of things. Um, some a more rub and buff kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna do some red, almost like a crimson or barn red in, in the um, decor that I'm gonna be using. But I thought I would just start off with um, the the nautical blue and then kind of go from there. So um, if, you're, if you are watching not live, go ahead and do hashtag replay. Um, if you want to find some of my fun stuff that I do, I do have a YouTube channel. It's Jane Nicole Designs. I have an Etsy shop that some of the stuff that I sell um, and the projects that I make are in there. And um, I do have a Facebook page that's Jane Nicole Designs. So Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Go ahead. I would love to see if you are thrifting and find a project and painting it. I'd love to see if you could, um, you know, put a, a picture in the comments or you can message me on Facebook and I would love to see what you guys are up to. So enjoy today. Send a little sparkle to someone's, either it's an email or a phone call or something, and let them know you're thinking of them, and enjoy the springtime. Take care, you guys.